Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use J shell. J shell. So, you know, there are some times where you want to run some snippets of Java code. But because of how slow our IDE is starts, you may get you know discouraged from starting your whole IntelliJ idea. This is this IDE is IntelliJ idea, and to me it's one of the best IDEs. But sometimes I just want to test some small Java code. Let's say you're reading a textbook or you're reading the Java docs and all you want to do is just to test something really small. Do you need to start the whole IDE and wait for seconds or minutes depending on the power of your system? So JShell runs on the command line and it came in I, around Java 9 because I am using Java 11 right now and I would advise you if you're using Java 8 try and upgrade to Java 11. I will explain later the Java release um, plan because Java 8 and Java 11 are both long-term support JDKs. You also have Java 9 and 10 and at the time of this recording, Java 12 is knocking at the door. So for now, let's say you just have a program. You just want to test something. Let's see. How come? Yeah. Let's see. Var name is equal to uh, my name. You know, this is Java 11, so I use var. And I say the system uh, in the name, right? Now this is not a Java tutorial, so I'm not here to do any complex um, operation. So I'm just running a simple program to print my name. Now let's say I wanted to test this I wanted to test var in Java to know how it works. Starting a whole new project, it's kind of a long process just to test practically this line of code, these two lines of code. So here we're going to use JShell. I'm going to open my command line using my shortcuts and here it is. So I type J shell. Wait. Yep. So now J shell is ready to run. So let me give you an example. I can say int int x equal to four. And it tells me x is equal to four. Now I can say x times two it so it's very if you have programming in python it's very similar to that python interpreter that you've used now you can do more than what i just demonstrated here you can literally write and test what you need to test for example like i can write a method or function here that let's say something that gets a number and returns a multiple of the number. So I say public void times two. So it, it gets a number and returns the number times two. Oh yeah, I made a mistake there. I said, oh, that, that, that shows you that you still have a, a lot of nice checks here. I return 
number times two. The return type here was void. That's why it gave me this error. It expected an int return type because I was returning number times two. So now I've created a number times two. So I have it here times two. It's what do you think is going to give me? Yeah, 16. So I have a method that works in here. Now I can check, I can even create classes. I, I can check all what I've created. Let's say I want to check all the variables I've created previously. I'll say slash var. So I've created x and did this, this, even methods. Yeah, I created times two. Let's see, let's create a small class. Class human. And age. String name. And uh, human. And age. String name. This dot age is equal to age. This dot name is equal to name. And uh, we can also say the getters and setters. public and get each return each right and public string get name Return name and then we close the class. So it gave us it created the class, but it cannot be referenced until class string is declared. So this is not a Java tutorial, so I'm not going to go in depth into all this. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you can literally access what you need here and really play along with it. And this is very fast. Like, it, look at this is very quick. Let's see, I need to test something in Java for X. Go to five and I say, oh yeah, x. Now, this is basic multiplication, but you get my point. Very fast. I don't need to start a whole IntelliJ instance. So that is J shell for you. you. Can create your Java stuff. I would create a tutorial showing you your options of Open JDK. You know when Oracle made the jdk oracle jdk paid a lot of people were skeptical and worried but that gave a lot of other companies the opportunity to support and it's really be going well even amazon is among amazon ibm red hat i will give you information on that very soon so to stay in touch have a nice day.